Elizabeth the Grand Old Lorry. This is a story about Elizabeth the Vintage Sentinel Lorry. Sadly, she was left to rust in a shed for a long time. Find out what happened when Thomas's driver found her there. Thomas was taking heavy goods trucks to a cargo ship at Brendam Docks. The ship was leaving at sundown, so Thomas had to work hard to get the trucks there in time. Suddenly, one of his coupling rods broke. His driver saw a shed by the tracks. I s I'll see if there are some tools in there, he said. Be careful. That shed looks a bit spooky, said Thomas. Then a voice came from inside the shed. Be quiet out there. I'm trying to sleep. Thomas's driver went into the shed. After a while, I mean, after a few mo moments, he came out again. Well, is it a ghost? asked Thomas. No, laughed his driver. It's not a ghost. It's a very helpful surprise. Thomas, his driver, and fireman took coal into the shed. Thomas wondered what they were doing. Hmm. She should be able to get us to Fitter's yard, Thomas heard his driver say. If her boiler holds, replied the fi his fireman. She'll badly need, she badly needs repairs. She badly needs repair work. Thomas heard lots of clanking noises coming from the shed. What could be inside? At last, out of the shed drove a rather dirty old steam lorry. Thomas, this is Elizabeth, said his driver. So, you're the little puffer that has broken down, said Elizabeth to Thomas. Thomas didn't like that at all. You're a very... You're a rude old steam lorry, he replied sharply. Actually, I'm a vintage sentinel lorry, replied Elizabeth, and you should be thankful that I'm here to help you. Oh, well. Elizabeth and Thomas's driver went to the fitter's yard. Elizabeth's engine made a loud grinding noise. It made loud grinding noises. As she drove up a steep hill, her engine got louder and louder. You're not built for hills, said, said Thomas's driver. Will you make it? I'll be fine, replied Elizabeth. I'm just catching my breath. Before long, Elizabeth reached the fitter's yard. Thomas's driver fetched a new coupling rod, and they drove back to Thomas. Elizabeth felt very proud. She realized she had been in the shed for so long that she had forgotten how much fun it was to help others. Oh, well, that's... Hmm. Thomas was impressed with how quickly Elizabeth had fetched the coupling rod. He was about to thank her when she said, Next time, make sure you're not so careless. Now, Thomas thought Elizabeth was, be was the rudest lorry he had ever met. He waited in silence while his driver fitted the new coupling rod. Then he set off to the docks. Elizabeth decided to follow Thomas to the docks. That little puffer has already broken one coupling rod, so he may as well need my help again, she thought. Elizabeth's engine rattled and groaned as she slowly followed behind Thomas. Soon Thomas was out of sight, but Elizabeth didn't mind. She remembered which road she had to take to get to the docks. Thomas arrived at the docks just in time, as the goods were unloaded from his trucks. The, the back controller came over. He looked very cross indeed. Where have you been? he asked. You nearly missed the boat. Thomas told him all about his broken coupling rod. He was about to tell him about Elizabeth when she drove up. Oh, it's you! said Elizabeth to the fat controller. Have you learned to how to drive properly yet? Thomas thought the fat controller would be very angry, but to his surprise, the fat controller said, 
Elizabeth, the first lorry I ever drove. How marvelous to see you again. Where have you been? Thomas couldn't believe it. Elizabeth and the Fat Controller were friends. Wow. Elizabeth told the Fat Controller that she had been left in the shed a long time ago and everyone had forgotten about her. She had thought she would never drive again. The Fat Controller was really pleased that Elizabeth had been found. He asked Jem Cole, the mechanic, to restore her to her original beauty. Elizabeth smiled happily and thanked the Fat Controller. She could hardly wait to be in fully working order again. A few weeks later, Elizabeth drove past the Fat Controller station. Her paintwork shone and her engine sounded perfect. Hello, she said. Don't you think my new paintwork looks marvelous? You're the grandest lorry in the whole railway, replied the Fat Controller. Thomas had to agree. And Elizabeth was so happy now that she was a, that, that she was really useful again, that she wasn't rude at all. The end.